In this section, we will learn four basic theorems as superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem and maximum power transfer theorem. Consider a circuit in which three bulbs are connected to the two batteries and we need to find the current flowing through each branch. Applying mesh or nodal may complicate the process if the network is more complex. So what do we do? Is we only consider one voltage source at a time and calculate all the currents. Then we consider the second source only and calculate all the currents. The total current flowing in the network is calculated by the algebraic sum of all the currents. This is the superposition theorem which states that in a linear network containing more than one source the resulted current in any branch is the algebraic sum of the currents produced by each source acting alone all other sources being replaced by the respective internal resistances. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's solve an example on this theorem. In the network shown, find the different branch currents by superposition theorem. Consider the 10 volts source acting alone and replace 15 volts source by short circuit. Thus, the network looks as shown. Now we have two resistors of 5 ohms and 6 ohms in parallel. Replacing them by their equivalent resistor, we get the two resistors in series as shown. Thus, the total current is calculated using Ohm's law as I equals V upon R. Thus, I equals 1.488 amperes. This current flows through 4 ohms resistor. Using the current divider rule, we can find the currents flowing through 6 ohms resistor. The value comes out to be 0 0.6764 amperes. The current through 5 ohms is nothing but total current I minus current through 6 ohms. Thus current through 5 ohms is 0 0.811 amperes. Note the directions of all currents. Now consider the second case source of 15 volts acting alone and 10 volts source is replaced by short circuit wire. Here we get resistors 4 ohms and 6 ohms in parallel and their parallel equivalent in series with 5 ohms resistance. Thus in this case total current I becomes 15 upon 7.4 equals 2.02 amperes. Current through 6 ohms resistor becomes equal to 0. 8108 amperes and the current through 4 ohms becomes 0 0.667 amperes. The total current now becomes algebraic sum of the currents obtained in the two cases. Thus, superposition theorem simplifies the network analysis. There is another method to calculate the branch current through particular resistance. This theorem was stated by French engineer Leon Charles Thevenin in 1883 and hence given the name Thevenin's theorem. According to this theorem, any two terminal networks can be replaced by the Thevenin's source VTH in series with Thevenin's resistance RTH. Consider an example. Determine the current through branch AB in the network shown by Thevenin's theorem. As we need to find the current through branch AB, that resistor acts as a load. Now, Thevenin's voltage is observed across load terminals. Thus, we remove the load resistance and calculate VTH across AB using KVL. Applying KVL to mesh 1, we get the equation 7I1 minus 5I2 equals 10. Applying KVL to mesh 2, 5I1 minus 15I2 equals 0. Solving the two equations, we get I1 equals 1.875 amperes and I2 equals 0 0.625 amperes. Now, Thevenin's voltage or voltage across AB 
is the algebraic sum of the voltage drop across 3 ohms resistor and 15 volt source. Thus, we get VAB equal to VTH equals 16.875 volts. The next step is to calculate RTH. To calculate RTH, we replace all the sources by their internal resistances. Remove the load resistor and find the equivalent resistor between AB by looking inside the network as shown. Thus, RTH is calculated as 2 ohms and 5 ohms in parallel. Their equivalent resistance in series with 7 ohms resistor and that equivalent again in parallel with 3 ohms. Thus, we get RTH equal to 2.12 ohms. Thus, we get the Thevenin's equivalent circuit as shown. Now, the current through branch AB can be calculated as IL equals VTH upon RTH plus RL which comes out to be 2.369 amperes. Thus, we calculated branch current using Thevenin's theorem. The next theorem developed by E. L. Norton is called as Norton's theorem which states that any two terminal network can be replaced by a single current source of magnitude I n known as Norton's current source in parallel with the single resistance as Norton resistance R n. In the Thevenin's theorem we used V T H and R T H in series with load whereas in Norton's theorem we connect I n and R n in parallel with load. Let's solve a question on Norton's theorem. Find the current through 20 ohms resistor using Norton's theorem. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. As we need to find the current through 20 ohms resistor, that resistor acts as a load. To find IN, load resistor is replaced by a simple wire. Applying KVL to mesh 1, we get 15 I1 minus 5 I2 equals 20. Applying KVL to mesh 2, 5 I1 minus 20 I2 equals 0. Solving the two equations, we find I1 equals 1.45 amperes and I2 equals 0 0.3636 amperes. Norton's equivalent resistance is calculated by removing load resistance and seeing inside the network from branch AB. Thus, we get 10 ohms resistor in parallel with 5 ohms and their equivalent resistor in series with 15 ohms which gives Rn as 18.33 ohms. Next, we draw the Norton's equivalent circuit and calculate branch current using current divider formula IL equals IN into RN upon RN plus RL which comes out to be 0 0.1735 amperes. The last theorem we need to study is maximum power transfer theorem. It states that maximum power is delivered to the load when the load resistance equals the equivalent resistance of the network as viewed from the load terminals with the load removed and all sources being replaced by their internal resistances. Consider the circuit as shown. Here first we need to determine the value of RL and then the maximum power delivered to load. Thus we replace complex circuit by Thevenin's circuit and find the RL. Referring to the above circuit current through RL can be calculated as I equals VTH upon RTH plus RL. Power delivered to RL is given by P equal to I square into RL. To find the value of RL at which the maximum power gets delivered, we need to differentiate the above equation with regards to RL and equate the result to zero. Thus, differentiating power P with respect to RL we get an equation RTH equal to RL. Thus, it is proved that maximum power gets delivered to the load only when load resistance is equal to equivalent resistance of the network. Power delivered to the load is given by the equation shown. When RL equals RTH, we get maximum power. 
Thus, P max equals VTH square upon 4 into RTH. Consider an example. Calculate the value of RL for it to absorb the maximum power and find out the maximum power in the circuit. Remove the load resistance and calculate the network resistance or Thevenin's resistance as seen from branch AB. Thus, we calculate RTH as 50 ohms parallel with 40 ohms and they are equivalent in series with 20 ohms resistance with 20 ohms resistance giving value of RTH equals 42.22 ohms. Applying KVL, we get I equals 1.11 amperes. Now, VTH is nothing but the voltage drop across 40 ohms resistor. Thus, VTH equals I into 40 equals 44.44 volts. According to the derived formula, P max equals VTH square upon 4 into RTH. Thus, P max equals 11.69 watts. Let's see what we've learned in this chapter. There are four theorems that give simplified methods to analyze the circuit. First is superposition theorem, in which we consider only one source at a time. Calculate all the branch currents. Then, consider the second source only and again calculate the branch currents. And at the end, we perform algebraic addition of currents to find the net current flowing through a particular branch. Thevenin's theorem is second. Here we replace the complex circuit except load resistor with the Thevenin's equivalent circuit and then use Ohm's law to find the current flowing through load resistor. VTH is voltage across load terminals generally calculated by KVL and RTH is equivalent resistance of the network seen from the load terminals without considering the load resistance. The third theorem is very similar to Thevenin's. Only difference is in Norton's theorem, the complex network is replaced by the Norton's current source IN and Norton's resistance RN in parallel with the load. Maximum power transfer is the last theorem which states that maximum power gets delivered to the load only when load resistance is equal to the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Maximum power is equal to VTH square upon 4 into RTH. With this, we come to the end of this Easy Ed video lecture.